<laughs> hello everyone. Hello guys. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, making sure everything is set here. Yes, anyway, how are you doing guys? How are you? How are you? How is everyone? Yeah, today we are continuing with uh, yesterday's live stream, uh, which uh, I had some internet issues, so I wasn't, uh, so my stream cut off. But uh, it is in the resilience that we find success, so let's uh, continue. Let's persist with this. Okay, so yeah, uh, let me just make sure that everything is good. I think, uh, let me make sure, my, check my audio. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's uh, do this. Let's continue with uh, creating this sci-fi corridor and uh, see where we are, uh, where we go with it. And uh, yesterday I was, uh, we, we were talking about some interesting things about uh, uh, creating a, an online business around Blender, and I think we can continue with that because uh, I want to, uh, we're having some serious discussions here that I think could help anyone who might be interested in something like that. But uh, before we get into that, those discussions, let's uh, look at uh, some add-ons to promote the channel. Uh, this is also part of the business. Okay, so. Uh, one I don't know want to promote today is uh, Human Generator. I've done this several times, and uh, because you guys are buying this add-on crazy, I'm going to continue promoting it because I think you guys are finding it very, very useful. Uh, hello, Hiro Daya Abiman. How are you? Yeah, so this is a generator. It just uh, generates human characters with clothes, rigged, and uh, materials, skins, texturing, all done for you with just this add-on. Uh, link is provided in the description. And uh, yeah, so by the way, as we are talking about uh, making business online, uh, online businesses using Blender, this is affiliate marketing is also a good way to, if you have the audience, it will, it is a great way to uh, to make some bit of change. It's not that much, but uh, yeah, it kind of helps some give you some extra change in your pocket and uh yeah pays a few bills here and there when uh, uh people get uh, the add-on which is amazing so hello i am nobody how are you hello scratch together how are you uh another add-on i would like to promote is uh the city road builder uh, this is a uh, uh this is like a library of roads uh, you can uh, generate different roads uh, using the add-on as you can see in the uh, in the and uh, in the gif here i'm showing you how uh, the, uh, the add-on works and uh yes again with the topic of making money using blender um uh, making add-ons is also another way to support yourself if you are an artist uh, because sometimes doing blender it can be a bit hard to find jobs so in between jobs you can get into python do some uh, blender add-ons and uh they, that can also give you some spare change. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, if you just want a city road builder add-on uh, that generates roads for you, uh, the, city, the city road builder add-on is an amazing tool uh, that you can add uh, to your uh, tools. And uh, the last add-on I would like to promote here is... Uh, hmm, where did I put that? It's simply cloth. Uh, this is a very popular add-on. Uh, you can see it's already over 6K uh, uh artists have got it and uh, it's just a library of uh clothes uh, you can use it to simulate clothes it's just amplify the close simulation system of blender just giving you more functionality that uh, doesn't come uh shipped with the default blender again all the links uh, that uh, i've shown here are going to be provided in the chat bro i'm getting trouble in making clothes on the human body any suggestions on the human body well, you are in luck. Uh, this is uh, an amazing add-on, Simply Cloth. So you can get it, but uh, a free way. Let me see. Uh, yeah, that's that's a really tough topic. It uh, requires more time to do. Maybe I'll do a story on that. Hello, Joshua Nose. How are you? How is everything? Okay, let's get into this. Making our tunnel. Okay, so we this is where we left off. We had this collection. Uh, this collection here that uh, we instanced here so any changes we make here are good so let me know i want to know what uh what where my audience today is from most so could you type in chat where you are today where are you watching from this today okay let's continue this i want to change the texture here a bit make it much better 
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, just reduce on the tiling effects. Now where is this texture? I think it's uh, this here. Yeah, so reduce on the tiling effects. And I think I can use box and uh, object. Ah, you're from India. So what part of, part of India? What part of India are you from? And uh, how are jobs there? Three jobs. Okay. Like, I, I'm really interested in knowing, uh, like, uh, you guys are learning Blender. How, my, how many of you uh, learn it just as a hobby or as something you would want to turn into an actual business? How many of you want to turn this into an actual business? Okay, so just find a way to blend these. I uh, think uh, I'm going to make this. Okay, and uh, I want this to, let's see. If we use cycles on this. Scratch, scratch, get. In India, day by day, the craze of 3D jobs is increasing. Oh, so you mean uh, like uh, 3D artists are becoming more popular here, there? Uh, 3D jobs are becoming. Yeah, because I think most uh, studios everywhere try to hire from India because I think it's inexpensive. It's a bit inexpensive there Art to hire artists. So I guess that's one of the reasons. Uh, let me see. Let me find a light. Like uh, what, uh, what, are, what requirements are needed there in India? Is it like, uh, do you need like a... Uh, a degree or something or is just is it possible to get hired with uh, just using a demo reel because i think i got my first job just using my demo reel because i i didn't go to school for for this uh, which is amazing yeah, i want to turn this into a light uh, let me first make sure that uh, so this is like a hundred. Okay, I have this light here that I can want to make sure that it's in the modules so that it's repeated like so. You guys are so quiet sometimes. Say hi, say hi, say hi, say hi. Say hi, it would be amazing. Might just be lacking. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I uh, Ajay deep sing bra Sigi is great thing. Yeah, it is, it is. So are you like uh, pursuing a job, Ajay? Ajay deep. I'm working in a company as a graphics designer and I don't have any degree. Ah, oh, that's amazing, that's amazing. And uh, is the pay Good. Yeah, you don't really need a degree for this, for this. And uh, anyone who requires it is would be just mad. It's just talent and experience, and uh, a level of discipline. Because uh, if you self, if you self taught. If you teach this yourself, you have a a level of discipline uh, that employees just employers just dream of. Hello from South Africa. Hello, Mawela. Net Shidziwe. Shidziwe. Yes. How is how's South how is South South Africa and how is the market there, man? I want to visit South Africa one someday because uh, it's near. And I've heard some amazing stuff about it. 
Okay, we have some lights. Let's just reduce the strength uh, to something like 10, maybe 5. Yeah. Now, I'm going to duplicate this. Let me also make sure that it's in uh, outside the module collection. I'm a, not much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you level up, you will. I think they they, they will be paying you more because uh, you you will be gaining more experience. So that's that's not something to worry about too much. And uh, I think they are also. It's getting easier to get hired from from uh, from outside of the US uh, because uh, more companies are now willing to hire people outside uh, major company major industries uh, like the US so yeah if they are not paying enough you can always easily move I think you, you can there are chances the high chances of getting hired somewhere else so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Just gain the gain the experience necessary, and uh, just make sure you, you share your portfolio or your demo reels on the internet. Have a profile on different sites. When someone is looking for someone to hire, they will find you. And uh, also, freelancing is becoming more lucrative. For artists so you don't really have to be hired to to work you didn't you don't really have to be working for a company uh, to work nowadays you can always find work as uh, a freelancer somewhere I'm a student and just learning 3d and uh, VFX as hobbies and it's a great thing to impress your colleagues ah nice nice so what are you you so what are you learning as uh what are you learning in school do you make your materials or do you download them i make them myself i make them myself and just reuse them because uh it's much easier to reuse them than uh Recreating them from always from recreating them from scratch. I think I want to make this a bit uh, you know what, Let me Let me see if I remove this translucent material this piece here Let me give this some color. Uh, material market is good this side, but maybe as a freelancer, overall, most people are venturing in the 3D industry. Yeah, and it's getting bigger. And that's the amazing thing, is that uh, it's getting bigger. You can see all these metaverses or meta worlds are just need, rely on 3D models. So and that's also another market opening up. I think it was always there, but uh, it wasn't as serious as it's, as it's getting. So it's really a great time to be jumping into uh, Blender because uh, more jobs are opening up. The chances of uh, getting hired have never been bigger. I don't have money, but I'm, I like making uh, VFX like these 3D models are my favorite, but when it comes to certificate, that there I would get denied uh, from the clients. Epic tips. Uh, so 
Yeah, mo most clients don't really care about your certificate, I think. They, they rarely care about your certificates. As long as your work is good, uh, they will. So just get better. Just uh, improve your, your craft. And I will see that uh, it becomes less. Your qualifications, your paper qualifications are become less of an issue when it comes to getting hired. Me just add a color here. I want to make this Okay, okay. Hello, Burning Bright. It's been a while since I've uh, last seen you. How is it? How is everything? <clears throat> okay. Uh, you should definitely come and visit. Yeah, I, sh I should, I should. Uh, I'm waiting for this uh, COVID thing to die and uh, see, die down, uh, get things to get a little bit safer and uh, try to travel a bit. Let me see. Can plastic. So let me ask, how, how many of you guys have traveled to other countries? Or are you just like me, haven't really done a lot of traveling? I see. Okay, so we have this module and maybe we can add some text here. Now we can get away with, uh, let me get my uh, quick decos add-on and I use it here because it uh, would be very powerful. Let's, uh, I am actually a science student in high school, but I spend most of my time learning 3d ah that's nice that's nice and uh yeah if you do learn if you're a science student i think uh 3d is partly i, I don't know it's it is it, it's not too far away from what you're learning there's always a branch of uh of the 3d industry that can tie into your science if you're learning science because saying science is a uh, kind of broad like really broad like uh what's do you have in like uh what part of science are you learning is it biology is it uh in chemistry because that's the beautiful thing about uh, uh 3d any branch of science you can talk of you, you you can think of can be visualized in 3d so if you are a chemist if you're learning chemistry uh, if you're science if you're trying to become a scientist in the field of chemistry you can also be a 3D artist and just visualize, uh, let me th see, chemistry, chemistry in 3D. So maybe you can find a way, yeah, you can see every scientific field you can think of can be visualized in 3D. So you can integrate that, maybe create a business through that i don't know how you do that but uh, yeah this you can always do something in 3d it doesn't matter let me see math in 3d it doesn't matter there's always a 3d version of because 3d is basically science so any field you can think of biology in 3d biology so you can right now you can think of it as a hobby but you can also study science while maintaining uh, the 3D part. And uh, if you start a business, you can also, inter because 3D is everything. That's the greatest thing. I learned chemistry and physics, and uh, because of that, I understand everything in Blender related to physics. Yeah, yeah, learning physics uh, really 
helps a lot in Blender because uh, you have there are a lot of physics concepts are within Blender, like rigid bodies. All those are physics, are 3D planes. It's math and physics. So, yeah, it does help uh, that you are learning that as well. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to grab this module here, duplicate it, duplicate collection. So that should uh, mean, I think it's, yeah, it's this here. And uh, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to change it a bit and instance it. So I'll call this module Module 2. A good morning to you and good Godwin. Ah, hello, Lutalimwa. How are you? How's everything? Good morning to you too. What should be a different material for floor is good. Uh, roof should be a different material than the walls. Uh, I'm looking at uh, a few references here and uh, most of them just use the same material for the roof, for, for all the walls, and I just add details like pipes uh, to make things, to break things and make them a bit different. And uh, speaking of pipes, I have, if you're an, a Patreon, actually, you know what, I think I like this corridor here, uh, the details it has. So let's, before you even work on this, let's uh, add a few of these details. I'm going to grab, let me see. Let me create a new module. Let me create a plane. Like that. Give it a few subdivisions like that and uh, add a wireframe. That's a quick way to create some wire detail. You can give it the same material. And I'll just duplicate this. Remove the wire. Just I can so that I can have a frame around this. Let me first dissolve these details in sets. Should be directional lines. Hmm, we can add that. Let's add a bevel. Like that. And now we can even add a few extra details here. So Hello the Great Awakening, how are you? Uh, what kind of awakening are we talking about here? Let me get rid of that. Hell, that's a killer. Yeah, that, this piece just looks amazing, man. Just looks amazing. I know what, I think he's using uh, the same character that I usually use uh, from uh, Render People, so let me add that as well. Yeah, so, so, so have you guys, is any of you participating in the Punishers uh, challenge. I haven't seen a lot of work from you guys on the this code. Uh, what do I want? Yeah, I wanted to get a character, so. Let me add him there. It's complicated. What is complicated, man? Sometimes I kind of miss some of the messages. Yeah, portfolio is very, very important. And uh, I used to update my assertion portfolio, but uh, I no longer do that. It's, it's just, um, I get a bit lazy sometimes. And uh, you can see I have a few pieces there, but mostly models, not really art pieces. 
And it's been a while since I updated this. Do you guys, can, can you guys share some of your portfolios and uh, so that we can s look at them on stream? And maybe I should do an episode, I should be doing episodes of uh, uh, the Discord, just showing off some of your work uh, from Discord. Because I, I, today I was there and I saw some amazing pieces uh, that you guys have been working on. Let's have this guy. I think we need to scale this guy up. And, uh, let me yes. Okay, let's see. Let's look at some work. I don't know how far I should go up. I think I've seen most of these. I've seen uh, Bunnings Bright's piece here. It looks amazing. Uh, so this is, uh, I also seen this. Uh, someone trying to do the Punisher challenge. Yashaw, yes, yes, what? Worth Discord? Nice. This looks amazing. Just look at the lighting and uh, the detail on this. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's continue here for a bit. I think I, I want, to, we can also add in some wall lights here. So let me, because I want to light up the character a bit. Make it, make the scene more interesting. I'm going to add a rim light here. So let me grab a, an area light. You asked what type of awakening? He said it's complicated. Oh, ah, kind of missed it. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Awakening. Ah, is it like a religious awakening? Need a very heavy light here. Okay, that's too much. I want to give this character some bit of light, but uh, without making it too obvious where the direction of the light is coming from. I'm, start to, I'm starting to work with a point cloud in my workflow as well. Point cloud uh, in Blender? Huh. Point cloud in Blender, where? Uh, in what uh, in what application are you using this? Because I haven't seen people using point clouds in uh, Blender. Unless if you're doing camera tracking, that's when you can generate a point cloud. I'm starting to, okay. Hey, uh, in the part of the screen which you have your render, how do you pause and unpause? Uh, there is this button here. You can pause and unpause directly there. Uh, no, it's a human. It's no, it's a human awakening. Ah, nice, 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 nice. So, how were things before uh, the awakening? Good, good, good. So, what what, what is your plans? What are your plans after, like a. Uh, like what 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 are your plans guys after learning blender like uh, becoming very good what what are your plans is it to find a work in hollywood or something let me see let me see what was i trying to make ah i was working on this and i got distracted i was trying to copy some some of the details in this piece because uh, it looks amazing ridiculously amazing Maybe let me just grab it as a reference here. Just 
And I think, let me just move my camera, frame the camera in the same fashion that I is doing. Maybe is a 50 millimeter. And have something like that. Yes, in Blender, but uh, you have to attach an empty or a cube even, and uh, you can convert the point clouds. My plans with uh, Blender is complete my lifelong documentary. I've been planning for a life. Ah, nice, 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 nice. So the documentary is about your life or is it about something else? Hello, Kapil Patel. I'm hoping you employ me. <laughs> that would be amazing. That, that would be amazing. And I, I don't actually have to employ you. We can pattern if uh, things go as planned. Because uh, I'm hoping uh, at some point uh, to be able to hire a few more artists. I, right now I just have uh, an assistant one assistant uh, that helps me with uh, some stuff but uh in the future i want to be able to uh, to hire more people out even some outside uh, my country because i know you guys are super talented so that would be amazing you can pattern in some way okay i think we need more of these panels, so let me just grab these, uh, let me grab these and make more copies. That go as far. And I think we can also reduce uh, the lighting a bit here, so just have a single light something else uh, all together but it affects me as it affects many people oh nice nice to hear it's always good to change to change change is uh, always a good thing especially if if it's making you a better person I plan to make art for fun, no serious plan, maybe a YouTube channel for art with a well-balanced workflow a pipeline. Ah, nice, nice, nice. That uh, would be amazing to see. I guess in some way that's what I'm doing, but uh, instead of having it as a hobby, I'm trying to actually make it as a business uh, because it's expensive. Doing art is expensive, so uh, unless if you are super rich, it's, uh, it, it gets a bit hard to maintain as a hobby uh, because just making one render piece can take you a few days. So you need a way to justify at the time you're putting it. And, and as you grow, expenses also grow. So you need a way to, to show uh, you need to be able to afford your hobbies and uh, the best way to do that is to make sure that uh, you can earn some money doing it in the render scene you have you have is just a viewport display because i don't have the pause button yeah no this is uh the viewport display uh you can see i can change i can change the view quite easily and actually i think just having this uh, like this with uh the black at the back the black areas I think makes it more interesting so i guess uh we can do that. Let me just set up my camera here. Also, I'm 13, so I just work on my blender skills for now and school. Ah, nice, nice, 13. Ah, that's, 
you have started very early, which is amazing. So by the time you by the time you get eighteen, you'll be like one of the biggest artists. Grab this, shift in. Just adding some details, and I think uh, here uh, we can add some pipe work. And uh, if you're a patron, you can get uh, this pipe, these pipes. Uh, from the patreon page, uh, but uh, I have a lot of pipe pieces uh, that you can use so Let's add those Yep, keep it up kid you have time now. Yeah, yeah, yeah by the time you you 18 and uh, things are just getting much better for artists because now there are just so many ways to earn a living you don't really need to be relying on a job uh, to make a living you, you can uh, become an artist you can make money in different ways yeah I, I know a lot of you are against NFTs I, I, I just don't understand them enough to to have a good opinion or a bad opinion of, of them but uh, it shows that uh, the future is bright uh, because uh, it's another way to earn a living without relying or relying on uh, clients because clients can be sometimes a bit hard to work with I'm just going to add in this pipe work in some areas I think what I'm going to do is uh, first get rid of this middle piece here, this module here, and uh, I have module two here. Shift G collection. Just going to move it in place of. I want to select this module. Shift G collection. So, do you guys all hate NFTs? I understand uh, that uh, a lot of artists are against them. Uh, because of environmental reasons, which is a good reason. But uh, what if uh, they change how they uh, minted uh, the NFTs so that uh, they were environmental friend friendly? Would you be okay with them then? Now I can grab this piping pipe work. Uh, again, you can uh, get this pipe work if you are a Patreon. It's uh, a number of pieces like this uh, that you can use in your project. And uh, maybe I should show that. Also, co-workers can be hard to work with. Yeah, yeah, but um, it's mostly the yeah co-workers can also be had but i think it's mostly the un the unpredictable nature of jobs uh anytime for for you can be let go for a lot of reasons some could be your fault as uh, some co may not be your doing uh so but uh freelancing also doesn't guarantee uh that uh, you will have work I guess it, it, every, everything has its own pitfalls. So a freelance is, freelancing is also not a, a walk in the park. So I guess, but it just has a little bit of more security than, than the job because you don't really, you're not at the whims of someone else. It's, it's you. Okay, so I think uh, that's good pipe work. 
So let's see how that looks. And uh, I think this can be inside the module two. If you have it like that. So I can use, get rid of this piece and uh, instance module two here. Just move it here and uh, maybe mirror it on the X. So we have pipe work here, and pipe work here. Let's see how that looks. I don't have enough knowledge about NFTs. I just know it exists. Yeah, I, it's, it's a bit confusing. Ah, that's the truth. It's a bit confusing. Let's see. So we have that pipe work and uh, let me duplicate it again. I have another piece here. Hmm, let me see. Let me see what other piece. Let me go under collections. Actually everything is. You see as well. NFT just doesn't have to be artwork. Yeah, a lot of things can be minted, I think. But mostly it has been artwork that has made uh, NFTs popular. With people having the most expensive NFTs sold. No, I'm not into NFTs. I think it's just a money grabber and won't make things better in the long run and uh, not everyone can be artists we need trucks to send us the food at stores for now yeah but i think nfts are like uh art artwork actually artwork like uh in the sense of paintings uh that uh, paintings have been have always been used heavily in the money laundering system so uh, it's possible that uh, NFTs are also being used as a mo money laundering uh, gateway. I'm not very sure, uh, not very familiar with how it, it works, so don't quote me on that. But I know uh, that uh, a lot of people have been... It's, it's very likely that uh, there is some money laundering going on because there is no, there's no good reason for someone to spend uh, the kind of mo money that uh, people are spending in NFTs. But uh, they are spending them, so I guess I don't know. Hey, thank you, Wakiase Max, for subscribing. We really appreciate that. NFT new for new to, new form of theft. Yeah, but uh, you know, I'm talking about. Uh, I'm to, I'm a bit torn with nfts because yeah it could be theft but uh if it's the type of theft that uh, artists can gain from yeah yeah i don't mind that a lot because uh artists have been stolen from for for a long time i and it's not like uh, anyone is forcing anyone to to get them unless if uh, they are selling to yeah, I'm not really sure. It's a complicated topic. And uh, if I... Uh, and politicians have always lo loaned money, like uh, stolen money. So if artists are doing it, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. 
I'm okay with that. We truly need a way to decentralize, to decentralize, to decentralize what? Uh, because uh, if you if you're talking about uh, regulations, uh, a, a way to, uh, to make sure that uh, governments are not regulating things, uh, because that's usually the what sells uh, cryptos that uh, it can't be regulated, but yeah, you can bet whenever th something is profitable, uh, governments are going to find a way to pr uh, to make it to to regulate it. So find a way to let me see. Trying to make a few pipes here. I think this has and uh, if we have this in the module one then we can have this repeated in all the other pieces like that is it possible to program functions in blender to do engineering analysis of model uh, this is for analysis of analysis of models i'm, I'm not really sure what you're saying there but uh, yeah it's definitely possible to to do engineering analysis oh what well, let me see. Let me make sure that I know what engineering analysis is before I answer something st stupid. Engineering analysis. Ah, this kind of analysis. Yeah, there is definitely a way uh, you, you should be able to do this. I uh, just so you mean uh, trying to understand what forces are acting on a surface. I think you can do it, but uh, it sh it would be a bit hard. I think there is a channel called. Uh, he does a lot of uh, building simulations. Uh, is it Kohat? Let me see. Building destruction. Building uh, simulation. There is a channel that is very good at that. Uh, yeah, this cost cut. So he he created a I think it's an add-on or a tool that works inside Blender to do physics simulation. I think it might be actually yeah. This is let me just make sure that I I don't get copyrighted for this. But uh, you can see the visualization he's doing. Uh, this is all done in Blender, but uh, he has his own tools added on top of Blender. Though I'm not sure this is this visualization he's doing here is uh, Blender is in Blender, but uh, you can see. I would consider that engineering analysis. Maybe if you're saying, if you're talking about something different. Yeah, so he does a lot of physics simulations inside Blender uh, using Blender and uh, with his own other tools. Uh, I think here he's doing uh, a rigid body uh, simulation of a car. So yeah, you can see BCB Blender something. I don't know. He, this is his tool, I think. It is a very powerful tool. So I don't think Blender can really do this without any additional tools uh, that he's using. You can see it looks like uh, the NB drive. Is it NG drive? A simulator uh, that uh, simulates car physics. And this is physics. It's not just an animation. Even the car moving forward is uh, uh, physics, physics based. So you can see all of this. It's definitely, there should be some uh, engineering visualization here. So maybe that's what you're talking about. I think it's possible. You just have to know some good Python. No, I am, let me see, let me see. Did I miss any messages? We truly need a way to, yeah, I think I read that. Make the pipes yellowish, okay? So give them a yellow color. You say? Let's see now. I think I need 
some proper light here. Yes, if I use EV, how is this looking? Someday we should do mechanical scorpion uh, or something like that. Uh, we can download free mechanical parts kit bash. Ah, where where is where, where are you getting the free mechanical parts? Are there somewhere? No, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This looks like an EV render, and uh. I think uh, we should be able to tell. So he used Blender. Let me see. Yeah, Eevee. He definitely used Eevee here because I'm, I'm looking at it and uh, it looks like uh, an Eevee render, which is which makes this, this even more spectacular to me. So maybe we should also use an Eevee, Eevee to render this. Uh, it's just that uh, if we are using EV, we need to add in extra lights in these. Uh, since EV doesn't support mesh lighting, uh, which we have been using here. So this has to be in module one as well. I think. Uh, oh, so you, so Joy uh, Nyquist, uh, that's the kind of uh, engineering assist analysis uh, that you're talking about. Hello, C. Ajin. We have to worry about the fakes coming up too. Yeah, I think uh, it's going to become with the deep fakes. It's going to have this the same effect as Photoshop, uh, because when Photoshop came up, people thought uh, that uh, it's going to Photoshop would be a big problem since now people could fake a lot of photos. But uh, yeah, it just made people more more skeptical of any photo. So now what will happen with what I think will happen with uh, deep fakes is that uh, people are just going to become more skeptical of uh, videos in the same phenomenon that uh, happened with Photoshop. People are just going to uh, treat, start treating videos uh, the, in the same way they treat uh, pictures, uh, believing that uh, most of them are fake, which can be a problem when evidence when it when uh, it's actually not fake, so politicians can just when caught on camera can just pretend that uh, that was a, a deep fake, which could be a problem as well. So, but uh, we survived Photoshop. Uh, deep fakes would be survivable as well. I'm not sure why uh, Netbot is removing your messages, uh, Marius. But, uh, sorry for that. That's amazing physics. Yeah, it's uh, it's complicated physics. Yes, I've watched a video. Uh, he tells about free kit packs on ArtStation and other sites. Hmm. I think I also did a video on about that. I just don't remember where I uh, I got the free packs. Mm, let me see. Let me see. Why is this too bright? This seems too bright for me. Uh, let me see. Just do I have any extra lights? Okay, so this looks too bright. Yeah, I think these pipes also need to be a bit deeper, so that's just a few layers, because that they just appear slightly above uh, the surface. Yeah. 
I can also just grab this again. Malcolm 3D is his channel name. Oh, yeah, I know, I know of uh, his channel. Yes, exactly. Could start a war, ensuring a leader saying something after start a war. Hmm? Okay, I think I'm not following you there. Not sure. Hmm, let me see. Did I miss any more messages? What does cycles provide more than EV? I always use EV just because it's faster. Well, cycles is a non-biased render. It's a ray tracing render. So it gives you more physically accurate renders uh, than EV. EV has its limitation, in, uh, especially when doing refractions and reflections. So anything, anything that has reflections and the refractions, and also the shadows that uh, EV generates is uh, a bit non-realistic. They're not as good. Yeah, I want to have this mesh here. Let me actually grab this. Just want this to be Are you adding lighting and uh, other effects? Yes, I'm definitely doing that. No, uh, the problem you, of using arrays, arrays don't create instances, uh, which means that uh, every piece you make is uh, going to be a bit heavy. It's just going to add on the computational power. So that's why you see I'm staying away from arrays. Then I want to have something like this. And that this should be in module one. So that is repeated. Let's unpause. I think we need uh, to fix our lighting a bit. And uh, another thing I could do is uh, go to this module and just remove a light, maybe just center one. Oh, so we don't have uh, that much lighting. And uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, just switch out, like uh, have one here. Then let me grab these. Yeah, deep fake uh, is always being used live now too as long as uh, you have a trained model, uh, but it's uh, adorable in real time. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it hasn't gotten to the level where uh, people can't uh, tell. A trained eye would, uh, would be able to, uh, to tell the difference. Now, I think I'm going to change uh, these lights from uh, being ceiling lights to side lights because I think side lights just give better results. I think that makes them look much better. Let's see, what am I missing? Make tutorial about compositing. My render always looks so bland. Hmm. I think uh, what what is his name? Uh, there's a a YouTuber 
is actually a professional 3D artist. Uh, he has worked in the industry for a while. He has a good compositing uh, series. Let me see. Compositing in Blender. He explains it quite better than I can. Uh, let me see. Do I? Yeah, this guy here, Blender Bob, is uh, very good at uh, showing you some uh, compositing tools. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make one, but uh, in the meantime, you can just watch that. It's a, it's a very detailed one. I was asking, uh, uh, he asks why his renders look so bright. Oh, I see. No, no, I mean, imagine a deep fake being used on a president saying something that can start a war. Ah, but uh, countries are very careful and a video is usually not enough to, uh, to start a war. Uh, it, it, it would have been enough because our presidents now, nowadays, actually I might be wrong. I was, I was going to say that uh, presidents don't have as much power uh, to start a war like they used to, but uh, yeah, they kind of do have the power to start a war, especially in less democratic uh, countries. Yeah, you can, presidents can easily start a war for for all uh, the wrong reasons. So I take that back. They can definitely uh, start a war. Now, I want to have a light like like what you see here on his shoulders, but uh, I don't want this reflection as well. So I think because we are in cycles, we can, let me see, can I bring this light? Let's make it 500. We can have that light and because we're in cycles, we can go here and just turn off uh, glossiness and uh, basically Hmm. Then it just turns that off for other characters as well. Hey, Sierra Noah, thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate that. Uh, if you're just getting here and uh, you're not a subscriber, it would be amazing if you did. Ah, uh, let me see. What else did I need? No, there is one that uh, everyone thought was real and that uh, is it's Tom Cruise, look it up. Yeah, I, I've seen that, I've seen that, I've seen that. Yeah, but uh, are the people usually who think this is real are not that, uh, don't really have a trained eye. I, I also got fooled. I'm not saying that uh, I have a, a more trained eye than everyone else, but uh, yeah, it's likely fooling uh, some people, not everyone. And now I think uh, governments are more more careful when they look at video. They, they I think now that they know about uh, deep fakes, uh, they verify more than they used to. So they won't just take anything they see on face value because it's a video. Uh, I think now these uh, they uh, they're likely going to try and. Uh, I verify the video before uh, before doing anything and I usually they wait for an official word from the uh, the government uh, before they and I guess I guess that can that would also have to be a video if uh, maybe if they get a call directly from a very from the government or whichever president is deep faked I think a red light really looks amazing here. Just gives us some nice reflections. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to extend one of these walls here. I have made some renders that look real. Ah, nice. Uh, you mean the ones that uh, you have in Discord? See? 
Yeah, I've tried uh, recreating Ian's cyberpunk scene, but I end up demotivating myself. Yeah, so Ian's uh, cyberpunk th thing is just, uh, it's, it's a lot of work, you can really tell. So, and uh, I think he has a few people helping him because uh, that's genuinely a lot of work uh, to do alone. So, yeah, don't be demotivated because you couldn't do it yourself because uh, he has experience doing something like that and uh, I'm thinking he has more experience than you so if you had as much as much experience as he does maybe you would be able to do it too but uh, he's just too experienced What am I doing? Rotate on the X, 90 degrees. Just want uh, to have my more pipe work here. Like that. Now that means that uh, all of these, and I think I need to mirror, uh, what do I? I think I need to mirror this here. This should have been on this side because our camera is mostly focused on that side. Or maybe, yeah, this here. Okay. Hmm. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen uh, those, I think. Uh, they look amazing. Where where we can get our pipes? Well, if you're a Patreon, you can uh, get the pipes from my Patreon page, or if you want to just get them on my CG Trader account. Let me do a quick promotion of that. You can get them on my CG Trader account, and I have a lot of art pieces there. So let me just push that into... Have a chat. Uh, do you do the pipes work on the other side where do the pipe work? Oh, on the other side that the camera is seeing. Uh yeah. Like here. I think I can do that. Maybe even just have this mirrored. Yeah, you're right. Because And I think I just need to grab this pipe work. Just have it here. Like that. Now, let me open the, the file because I need to change uh, the color of uh, these pipes a bit uh, so that they look a bit different, so that they stand out. Just make it yourself. When, when will you learn if you keep searching for models? Well, some models you have to just get from other people because uh, modeling is a lot of work. You can see this pipe work. Uh, we spent a, a few a few days working on this. You can see how detailed it is, and uh, everyone does it because three uh, D is a broad topic. You can't always do everything yourself. So, so these pipes, we think I think we can make them. Let me see. Can we make them a darker color? And yeah, we can have a, a blend of of colors. Yeah, let's save that. 
And now all I have to do is go back to this project, go to the outliner, and mm, library, you know, uh, blend files, and just I think it's this reload. It's some, I think, yeah, I think it's this one here. Fun fact, in the year 2000, a supercomputer costing north of uh, $180 million was used. Uh, today, you can get the same power in an Xbox X uh, series uh, for $499. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I think uh, they say the, the computer that put uh, the Apollo Lun uh, Lunar Lander uh, has less power than, uh, than, a, than an iPhone, so... That's crazy too. That's really, really crazy. I think what we need, yeah, let me add a lamp, a light, a light here, up here to light up these pipes. think let's see how this looks in EV I guess at some point we won't have to wait for anything to render anymore now that would be amazing if that uh, that was the case like I just that everything just works fine Okay, so if it looks good, uh, the issue is it's really, really slow. It's slowing down the viewport. I think my lighting is a bit... leaves a lot to be desired. I think we need to add, let's add some volumetrics and see if that uh, will improve things. Move the red light uh, to the other side so uh, the reflection is, with the, is the other way as it focuses on the side of the camera. Ah, nice. Let me, let me try that and see. Let me first get some volumetrics. Get some volumetrics. So what time is it for you guys there? And uh, what are your plans for this Sunday afternoon? Or whatever time is for you. Create a principal volume here. US is one. Oh, that's that's really late. 
That's really late, man. And they call it the singularity. Uh, when technology is... Uh, when we become one with technology, I think there are several definitions of uh, the singularity. So... That doesn't look too bad. I'm ready into Sunday. You're already into Sunday? And we are halfway into Sunday, this side where I'm from. So, yeah, if you have thought you were bragging about that, we are way ahead of you, man. Yeah, you're saying the lights uh, should be moved uh, this side. Let me see. Hmm. I think it's starting to look good. Though I don't like the color of the pipes. Though changing the color is, uh, is not really that forward straightforward let me see if i come here hmm. and to make this more interesting let's add another character up here a 10 20 newsland nice nice joe so new there is a Interesting fact about Newsland. No, I, actually, sorry, it's not Newsland. No, I was uh, mistaking Newsland for Iceland. And I was going to ask you if you have ever been to that place where Oblivion, uh, the movie was uh, was made, where it doesn't, where at cert certain days of the year it doesn't uh, uh, become night. It's full day for a whole for a, for a whole year. Oblivion. I want to be there where it never goes to night, but I guess it gets, it might be get, it might get uh, kind of boring uh, really fast. So how is New Zealand? Uh, you neighboring uh, Australia, I think. Yeah. You neighbor Australia. How is New Zealand? Let me see. Now I stay up all night. I am a night old. Nice. Did you say what you do, the Great Awakening? I remember you saying what you do, but I don't remember. I'm not remembering what. Uh, yeah, my 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 head is just filled with uh, stuff right now. So forgive me for not remembering. Did you say you're a student? Can't remember. Because if you're staying, even when if if you have a job. Unless if you're working from home, it can be. How do you balance that if you're if you're staying that late at night? New Zealand is to Australia. Are you mean like it's near Australia? I think that's what you meant. I'm gonna grab some chips and be right back. Ah, nice, nice, nice. You find us already animated this and turned it into a feature to our movie. I want, uh, I don't want uh, the reflection to be this strong, especially at the top there. I want the character to be uh, visible though. Yeah, New Zealand is next to, uh, to Australia. And you guys are an island somewhere. Let me see. New Zealand, New Zealand. News. Can't spell New Zealand. Ah. Uh, 
it looks amazing man it just looks beautiful so do you live in the city or somewhere like this oh, that would be amazing man i don't think you would have any reception but with this kind of place it wouldn't matter just looks amazing i think that's where they shot road of the rings and uh, parts of game of thrones or am i thinking of somewhere else Oh, you just got a job? Nice, nice, nice. In the... Like a, a 3D job or are you in a company or freelancing? And congratulations, man. That's what we want here, here. That's what we want here. Progress. Moving ahead. That's amazing. Happy for you, man. Hi bro, what's happening? What happened last stream? It suddenly stopped. Yeah, my my internet just went off, and uh, that's why you see I'm continuing it here. My internet just decided to stop working for some reason. Yeah, uh, but uh, we are resilient here, so it doesn't matter what happens. We always push ahead, push forward. I want to give this a slight angle. I just want the character to be to have some light on him. So how are you doing, Red Dot? Uh, what uh, what did you do after the, the stream suddenly dropped? Where did you go to? I want to build a new PC for 3D animation. Any advice for specifications? Well, that's uh, the advice is going to depend on how much budget you have on your budget. I, I would recommend the most, the beefiest PC, but uh, yeah, it would be your budget to determine. Uh, joining next month oh nice congratulations man is that's a uh, government job a lecturer in geography ah oh, nice nice congratulations congratulations and, and uh, you can show them the geography of or teach them geography in 3d because like we started in the stream everything can be a 3d job you want to teach geometry sorry geography you can do 3d uh, geography geography if i can spell geography in 3d i think that's the easiest topic to convert into a 3d topic uh you can start with uh google maps and just show off just hit them with knowledge man just go in uh, your first lesson your first lecture just pull up blender and uh, uh the 3d 3d yeah add on that uh, imports the blender the gogo -go interface into blender and i uh, just show them how skilled you are man just impress do it for me man just impress them uh yeah bro keep up have the awesome work and thank you for the offer oh, thank you too man thank you thank you you ex you please explain uh texture the concrete texture it's just an image texture there isn't a lot about it it's just an image texture and uh, you just feed uh, different the color inputs into different uh, inputs i think our piece is starting to look good at least as good as this and uh, given the colors and uh, everything it looks good i think and uh, one thing i could do is uh have this continue let me first pause this Uh, the scene is looking fine uh, as fire red color light is adding a spice yeah yeah i'm really 
liking other ways to look. And I'm also going to add this. Just Yeah, have something like that. And there may be, we can, yeah, I think we need to add this on this other side as well. So I like the light reflected on the concrete. Ah, yeah, I also like it too. How the, it uh, gives some good detail to the scene. Now I just adding a few extra details. Now maybe we can also grab these pipes Hello, BM Nation. You are late to class. I am making a Roblox game. Ah, nice, nice, nice. And uh, Roblox is uh, very, very, you should be able to do that very easily since you have the skills. Uh, Roblox is, has a very low poly Roblox look. So what kind of game are you trying to make? Quite low poly, so it should be a bit easier to make. It gives life uh, to the scene. Ah, oh, thank you. If you make the floor less shiny, it uh, it looks more clearly defined. I think the issue is uh, that uh, is the resolution. Are the are the, the noise samples? Are the maximum samples I'm using here for the viewport? Oh, actually, my viewport. Let's try 496 and I just set the minimum to be at a 10. So uh, the floor should look cleaner if we have more samples. Floor is epic. Need it. I skip while you make it. I uh, need this too. Wow. Oh, thank you, Black Swan. I am modeling the planes in Blender. Ah, nice, nice. What else could we add in here? Let me get my quick decals add on. Let me see what decals do I have? Yeah, I'm going to use this. Hmm. Let me first. The issue is EV is quite heavy. Uh, let me, yeah, it's usually heavy because if you have a middle occlusion and screen space reflections, it becomes quite heavy, but uh, let's get that out of the way and just see, we go back to cycles here. A simple, a simple droid. Hmm. That's uh, kind of, mm, we can try doing that. Let me see. Let me first add this decal here. Date 90 degrees. 
and uh, let me use uh, the shrink wrap function. Yeah, now I can simply have this. projected to this let me go to the colors here make this look brighter maybe even scale it up just have it somewhere yeah this is my own add-on called the deco Quick decos just helps you project a surface <coughs> uh, textures onto a surface like this. Let's see what else can I do here? Can I change the color here? I don't know, should I change it though? So I can have something like that. I don't know if I should repeat it everywhere, but I think I can just duplicate this. With it on the Y, 90 degrees. Just have it on this, on the floor as well. Let me plug in my power to my laptop because it's giving me a warning. Give me a moment. Okay. Should be good. Top channel, have you ever seen the Bean movie? Uh, the one on YouTube animated in Blender? No, I haven't. I haven't. But I've seen Mr. Bean. Let me see. The Bean movie, there is an animated version. I don't think... Okay, I'm not sure which one is it. Is... I've seen this one. I'm not sure which one you mean. Oh, this one? But this doesn't look to be animated in Blender. Okay. Now, I just... Let me make sure that these decals don't have any shadows. We love to see Killer Bean. Oh, Killer Bean, this, you know, I haven't watched it. I think I, but I've seen the thumbnails. I've, I've never really gotten to, I've seen the thumbnails, but I have never really gotten to watch it. I, I think I'll watch it after after the live stream, which I think I'm going to be ending very soon because I'm not seeing what to add here anymore. Uh, the project is becoming a bit for my PC. I think, let me bring uh, this character a bit closer to the camera. Yeah, something like that. It's like a, a standoff. There are two, not the sequel, but the original version. Ah, which one is uh, the original then? This is, I think this is the original. Because I've seen the thumb thumbnail, but I've never really gotten around to see it. So it's a full movie. One night. I'll see it, I'll see it, I'll see it and see. 
I need the original picture to create again. Oh, if you want the original picture, uh, this is a piece by, let me, this is a link at his page, at station page, if you want to get this image. Yeah, I think uh, I'm done with this piece and uh, I'm going to end uh, the live stream right about here. And again, let's do some quick promos. Uh, as we end the stream. Yeah, so if you are in market uh, for a uh, cloth simulator, add-on for Blender, that works miraculously. Simply, uh, Simply Cloth Pro is an add-on uh, that you could use. It generates clothes and uh, is used a lot by different artists. As you can see, it has over 60, uh, 6K uh, sales. So that means that a lot of people are buying it. And uh, yeah, link is in the chat. Another add-on I'd like to promote is the Human Generator. This generates characters. So if you don't, if you don't want to spend time generating characters like this, it takes a lot of time and uh, you just want to jump in and uh, do something. I uh, use a character, this is a good add-on. Again, link is in the chat. Amazing add-on. Less than a year and it has over 5K sales. Then lastly, uh, the add-on I would like to promote as we end our live stream is the City Road Builder. Uh, an add-on uh, for generating roads uh, for your city and streets, make th making things much, much easier. Yeah, links in the chat. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Red Dot. Uh, where can I find the original piece pick? Oh, I sent the link. Thank you, Red Dot. Uh, I think Nightbot is being super salty because you uh, you posted, you, you typed in capital letters, which it hates. Uh, thank you, Kapil Patel. Uh, please consider doing a reaction to Blender animation video. Uh, separate as, your, as you suggested and you give us your thought on other people's work. I think I could do that. I think I could do that. Yeah, and uh, the best way to do that, I think uh, I'll be, let me see. Maybe as we end the stream, we can do a quick reaction on that. And uh, yeah, but I want to only critique people's work uh, that have uh, that have approved me to do that because I don't want to just go in and start uh, critic criticizing other people's work. Uh, this is a nice piece, a plant in some kind of robot, uh, protecting it. Nice, nice, nice. You have human generator. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice. Good, good. Yeah, maybe let me create a channel, and uh, I will call it. Let me see. Uh, live stream artwork critique uh, stroke tips. And tips, tips. Yeah, so yeah, if you want to, you want your, your artwork to be added into the critique, I think you can just post it here. Uh, it would be much easier because if I find work there, maybe we can not just critique it, but uh, appreciate it. It's more what we'll be doing and just uh, see how we can improve ourselves I also trying to improve and uh, a good place I would recommend to if you want to, especially if you are in the activist industry if you want to get into that Evermotion has some amazing artwork uh, uh, they usually do you can take a look at that uh, it's, uh, you can see a few things there Yeah, I think that's it for today's live stream. I'm going to render this out in a 4K image. Now, nah, 4K is too much. Let me see. Let me use one hour. No, one hour is too much. Let me use 15 minutes to render this. 15 minutes 
to render this and uh, the samples can be nah, that's too much four nine six times two yeah i'm going to render that out see how things come out and uh yeah maybe let me reduce on the emission strength can you check because there is a message on discord let me do that let me yes bro and there is other characters ah nice uh, so i'm not sure is Kazari in the chat or is it you red dot because uh, uh yeah i saw this piece and uh, it was really amazing at uh, the in the general chat yeah i'm i'm looking at his the messages in the oh red dot is uh, just another person okay welcome to red dot uh, let me see general q clear ah Kanz oh so red dot you are the same as uh, kanzari nice yeah so i'm not sure if you want me to show that on live stream but uh, that game that uh, <coughs> game demo you you're making just looks amazing man just looks amazing oh this is red dot i thought i was in my channel but, uh, you have invited let me join that check it out later uh, can you give back can you give feedback by the way uh, this is my blender plugin it's free you can use it to generate human rigged characters oh let me see let me look at that Riyom Adon 3 hmm, my internet is slow today it's quite a speaking up speaking up speaking up Oh, this is what I was talking about, but I'm not sure if you, if uh, it would be okay with uh, me showing this, but uh, so let me just, until it gives me permission. Riyom Adon. So how, how, how does the Adon work? They attain. So let me see, is he here? Not to see how the add-on works. Uh, I wish you had uh, some images here showing how uh, the add-on works uh, because uh, it sells the add-on. Maybe you can put this in, uh, what is it called? In On Gumroad, because uh, uh, Gumroad supports images and uh, a quick description on what it does. Because right now you can't really tell. Uh, it would be really, really helpful. I'll check this bro let me see. yeah i'm not sure if you want me to check let me see I, I guess because this is in the general chat maybe it's okay because i seen a public uh, channel so it's simple like human generator but uh still coding oh nice yeah because this is in the general chat i'm going to assume that uh, you you're okay having it public Okay, my internet is a bit low it's a bit slow i guess because i'm doing a few things here hmm my download speed is really low for some reason right, let me just download this because it doesn't seem to be playing Oh. It's 
So is this like a uh, robot generator? I like the details. Let me just wait for the video to download here. Maybe let me install this as well. Uh, edit preferences, uh, install, downloads, compressed, and it uh, should be this one. Install view ROM. Okay. Rio add default Rio. Hmm. Nice, nice. So it comes rigged and everything. So I'm trying to find the actual rig. Okay, so the eyes work. Does it come with material? Let me see. It seems to come with materials. Hmm. Nice. So this is, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Is, is that? The piece looks amazing. Uh, I mean, the details on the eyes, this eye here especially just looks amazing. So I'm trying to figure out how the add-on work here, works here. I think, uh, hmm. Oh, some textures are still missing. Yeah, so I'll, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Uh, and uh, as this is still work in progress, but uh, yes, looks fine. Looks amazing. I'll check it. Definitely check it out. Select body. Ah. Okay, let me go out of. Oh, so when you select the body, you can change things. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I see. Let me see. I think uh, because uh, because there's a uh, subdivisions on this, uh, it's it's a bit heavy. But I guess uh, it's. I don't know. My, my I don't know why my computer is very slow right now. Maybe because I'm screen recording. I like how you have an uh, interface here. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. Let me first turn off other subdivisions to make this faster. So this is raise eyebrows nice this is some good progress this is some good work uh, the robot is just a project I'm working on ah See, see, go to the bottom. Uh, they there's highlighted ones to the bottom. Ah, they, that's a lot of settings, man. Wow. Uh, so you also have ethnicities uh, baked in this. Ah, nice. This must have taken you quite a lot of time. Mm, I see, I see. Okay, this is just a separator.
I think it looks better with the subdivision, but uh, my PC right now can't, doesn't seem to want to handle it. Now this is really interesting. Ah, this is for, oh, for the head. Nice. These are quite a lot of settings, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely try working with this and see. Yeah. So I'm going to give uh, this. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure. Do you want this? Uh, uh, but I guess if you have. Uh, this in the general where is my discord yeah i was asking if uh, if you wanted people to be able to download this that's it yeah so i'll check it out and uh, and maybe look at some progress you have you you'll be making i'll keep myself updated on that and uh, when you're done with it you can definitely let me know and i'll see if i can make